All right, I'm back. You're back. We are back, and I am heading to Erebonimsum. Erebon, Ere, Ere. However you pronounce it. Erebonimsum. Now I can't, can't hardly hear my footsteps at all. I'm just wondering if the Morrowind acoustics overhaul kind of jumbled a lot of that stuff in together with each other. Strange, I don't know. Muck sponge. Friendly? I think those are the ones where I killed their buddy inside the tent for the Moraton. Ah. Attacking the bugs. Strange. I've noticed that everyone here always, they always all attack the bugs. Nobody likes the bugs. Oh, he is coming after me. I've been getting a uh, a glitch in my sound. It happens when uh, I'm somewhere underground and there's water, and it works fine for a while. But then after not too long, I lose bits and pieces of my sound. Experiment with this at some point. I suppose that that could be could be what's been causing it. I will I will definitely look into that after.
firefly. Why do they attack the fireflies? Maybe I'll happen upon a winged twilight somewhere. Those are non-hostile. Usually. Ah. These have very, very nice souls for petty gems. for a blighted shock. Very nice, very nice. Should be right up and over this little mountain here. Useful items I have enchanted so far. A levitation item. Handy dandy, I gotta admit. And there is the camp. Just uh, host. I looked into Open Morrowind, especially for the multiplayer aspect of it. But I was, uh, I was having, having trouble downloading the latest version of it, which at the time was 0 0.42. Uh, the link to download it was not letting me download it. So I got 0 0.41. just 
posted a list of most of the mods that I'm using at the moment. Or at least more of the some of the more important ones. But I might like to I I might have tried open Morrowind. I would just with me having so many mods on here, uh I wasn't sure which ones I would not be able to use with open Morrowind, and it just seemed like I wasn't really sure what the advantage of open Morrowind was going to be over what I have now, other than stability. I could use more stability, definitely, because this game does crash on me occasionally. But I didn't know if I was going to have to give up. For instance, uh, Morrowind Acoustics Overhaul makes use of one of my... I don't know if it's Morrowind Enhanced. Could be Morrowind Enhanced. Might be Morrowind Script Extender. I, I don't know. It makes use of one of them, so... I didn't know if I would have to give that up with, um... Open Morrowind. I'm not sure. I, I would have to. I would have to look into that a lot more. I guess. Yeah, stabili stability was probably the thing that I would have been hoping for, um, other than multiplayer. I, w I would have loved to play some multiplayer Morrowind with a friend of mine who, who played the game a long time ago. I don't know how well the multiplayer works. Um, it said it was still, I guess it was still in beta, at least the last time I looked at it. Um, it definitely, I don't know, it, I, I might be willing to give it a try, but it almost seemed like for me, because of how many mods I use, I almost felt like it was just going to be a big project for me to to see if I could see if I could use it. Would be interesting. Would be interesting to try. I would have to. There's a friend of mine who played Morrowind a long time ago. If if he installed it uh, and wanted to play it, I would. I would. That's probably when I would seriously look into it. Um, but like I said last time, I, I tried to download it. I couldn't get version 0.42 to download. So all I got was 0.41, but the uh, multiplayer mod was made for 0.42, I believe. So I don't know if they, I don't know if that's still the latest version or not. What about, um, like the other one that I use that I have a couple mods for is, uh, I can't even, can't even get to it. It's this one right here, Morrowind Enhanced, version 1.21. That's one that runs concurrently with Morrowind. Some of the mods that I have require this. Can't remember which ones. I would, I would have to look it up. Morrowind script extender and then Morrowind code patch. Some of the other ones I got on there.
Yeah, I, I wouldn't probably wouldn't even use Morrowind Enhanced except, like I said, it was it was required for some of the mods that I'm using. I mean, Is there I, something you yes. yep, that might even be Morrowind Enhanced might even be contributing to the instability. I, I really don't know, uh, but like I said, in order to get some of these mods to work, I had to have either Script Extender or Morrowind Enhanced or. Some of them required Morrow and Code Patch. Um, so, anyways, like I said, you know, maybe if I had known about Morrow and Open Morrow and first, I would have used that first. But since I've already got a lot of these running at the moment just seems like it's gonna be a gonna be a big a big deal for me to to get it to, to get it to work and then um, you know I'm running uh, Morrowind uh, mod manager which I guess the latest version out is now the Elder Scrolls mod manager, but I'm still using Morrowind mod manager, so I would have to I'd have to know whether or not I would have to undo all of those mods or some of them. But definitely if if the the major attraction for me would be the multiplayer aspect. If they ever get that to work, I I might even give them some money for for all their hard work. If me and my friend could play Morrowind together and, and have a good time playing it with, with few bugs, very few bugs, that, that might be worth it. What did I have to do here? I know I had one for the Morag Tong, which I suppose I could do that first. Might be someone there with some wizard spells. Okay, I already killed her. Got that. Did that. That's Lawad. Okay. Just northwest of Mulagmar. Okay, I'm pretty far away from there. Zane Tatari. Okay, I guess that's the only one that I could have sworn I had one more to do with the Arab and Innocent, but something to do with Great House Telvani. But looking on my little list here. All I see is the Moragtong. To me, it, it's. <laughs> I, I get amazed every time I think about how not only are people still playing this game, Morrowind, which is, um, what, 15 years old now, but they're still making mods for it, multiplayer stuff, uh, you know, the open Morrowind, and then you got that whole. 
uh, uh, the Reach, uh, which is the Souls theme add-on for it. I've got that. I haven't I haven't installed that yet. Shot in the Reach. They've got that. I don't know what kinds of quests they have for that, but it just amazes me how much people are still doing with this game. It's it's just I don't know. I, I can imagine how much how much work and how much effort people are putting into something like Open Morrowind. You know, trying to put uh, something like multiplayer aspect into a game that was never intended for multiplayer. I don't know, it's just. Is there something I can do for you? You know, especially since they've got you know Elder Scrolls Online. Um, Morrowind Online now, but yet people are still coming back to this game and trying to enhance this game. I don't know, it just, that's just something that amazes me every time I think about it. And then some people are doing just the opposite. They're going into the Skyrim construction kit. Is there something I can do for you? And trying to recreate Morrowind in the land of, or with the Skyrim game engine. It's just, I don't know, to me that's, it just says something to me about how good this game, how good this game was or how good it is. She's got no spells for me. I was hoping she'd have a fire spell or something. Is there something I can do for you? Hoping one of these people would have a fire spell. Nobody's got a fire spell for me. That's all right. I think uh, for me, the biggest attraction for Morrowind yes, is, is the uh, the character build. How you can choose so many different ways of how you want your character to. To function, that that was the biggest draw for me, and I also like the. There's a lot of intrigue in Morrowind. There's a lot of intrigue as far as the storyline goes. Uh, you don't know who really the bad guy is. I mean, sure, it could most likely is Dagothor, but maybe not. Maybe Dagothor is actually the good guy, and everyone's been lying about him, and he's he's the one who's been betrayed by the tribunal. Who knows? You don't really know. A lot of intrigue, and then there's. I gotta find. What's the place called again? So the character build, and uh, Zaintatari. Character build and the storyline. Skyrim. Skyrim to me didn't have hardly any character build. They just they took a lot of that right out. And I don't know if maybe that's that's the way that the younger kids like it. You know, maybe they don't want so much character build. They just wanna go 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 and slay slay slay. And that's fun too, but Whoops. Ah. 
I like trying to figure out. I like trying to figure out different ways to set up my character. You know, do I want to be a conjurer or a marksman or a, someone who specializes in destruction? I don't mind so much the micromanaging of my character. I don't mind. I'm supposed to go northwest to the steam pit. I like the challenge of trying to get three plus fives every level. Things like that. I think a lot of the a lot of the younger generation they don't really like stuff like that. They'd rather just go up a level oops, every half hour. That was another thing I didn't like about Skyrim. Just go up in levels way too quick. I remember when a a friend of mine, he bought Skyrim when it first came out and we worked together and it was on a Friday and he was going to get it. And then Monday he came in to work and I asked him how the game was and he kind of looked at me and said, he said, I'm 26th level. I looked at him and I was like, are you kidding me? You've only had the game for one weekend. You're 26th level? He's like, yup. And that's just, to me that's just too much, that's too fast. I think Morrowind and, and Oblivion also was pretty good how fast I went up in levels. Good thing those tarantulas are slow. Uh, let's try fire damage. Wow. Oh, I got you too, huh? Oh wow, I got three of them. Oh. I have to go with try but true on this one. Come on. So plumes. Ah, there we go. And no disease. Excellent. Okay. I was supposed to head northwest till I reach the steam pit. Oh yeah, well, uh, did I mention, uh, 
I have a mod which actually cuts my experience gain in half for Morrowind. Did I mention that? Uh, so right now, without that mod, I would have been about 20th level. Uh, and the reason why I did that was because... Okay, here's the steam pits. Because of all the extra mods and adventuring that I was going to do, I didn't want to top out my level too, too fast. So, I think I played this game before and I got up to like 40th level by the time I finished it plus the expansions. And I didn't want to do that this time. Especially with all the extra adventures that I'm... that I have the extra quest so so I cut my experience gain in half um, so hopefully by the time I finish the game I won't be much higher than I don't know 30th level maybe hoping but yes I was uh, when I first played Skyrim, I uh, I played it for the first two hours. I went up four levels, and for me, it's like I like a video game where gaining a level is an accomplishment. It's something that you work towards and you work towards. And, you know, you get to that point where you're just really close to next level, and, and it's, it's something valuable. But with Skyrim, I think I picked three locks, and I went up a lock-picking level. You know, and, you know, that to me, that just... North of the steam pit, but hidden from view. To me, that's just too fast. See if I can kill this guy. And in case anyone is wondering, scorpions are not part of vanilla Morrowind. They are part of a fabulous monster mod that I have called Giants. Neither was that tarantula back there. That is also not vanilla Morrowind. Don't let the name Giants fool you, it's not just a mod of Giants, they've got all kinds of creatures in there. Here it is, ain't Atari. No, four levels, four levels in two hours on Skyrim. In Skyrim, when I first got the game, not Morrowind, in Skyrim, when I first got the game, within the first two hours that I played it, I went up four levels, which is about four, char four character levels. Um... So that was a that's on average one character level every half hour. It was just just too fast for me. I just But I think the younger kids like that. They like to be you know, 50th level. They can go into school and tell their friends, "Yeah, my character's 50th level already. I've only been playing for a week." I don't know. It's just not me. Hill in Hill in Oh! 
That was easy. Ah, my mighty Dremora. How I love thee. Well, I, I might be able to go up a lot faster than that now. That was just my first time playing. You know, I didn't know what I was doing. Like I said, all I know is I I went through the snow, went up some stairs outside, and I it was some kind of structure or something, and there was a bunch of a uh, bunch of bandits up there, and I, I killed the bandits. I think I went up a level there and all I remember is like I said there were a couple of chests up there and I picked the locks on three of the chests and I went up a lock picking level and I'm like really I went up a lock picking level from just picking three chests I don't know that just that's just not for me I just, I just don't like that you will die all right let's see if I can kill this guy with just a bound down. Get him. Say if these are even bandits or not. Yeah, like I said, I think uh, I think the younger generation. Um, I don't know if the person I'm talking to right now is of the younger generation, but I think that they like that. I think that they they just like to go up, go up, go up, fast, fast, fast. Oops.
14th level after reaching Balmora. That's a... Uh, hmm. Well, I suppose... Uh, I suppose with me, I made most of a lot of my skills that I use more my miscellaneous skills, so I don't go up in character levels too, too fast. Oh, sweet moon sugar. Time is it? One thirty-two. Let me uh, let me pause the recording. Break it up for one moment. Don't go anywhere. I'm just gonna break up the recordings. I've been going for about forty minutes.